In a previous video, I created a fantasy RPG adventure using ChatGPT and some custom GPTs. Overall, it was a fun process, but the video itself didn't have any commentary. So in this video, I'm going to walk through and explain the process of using three of the interactive adventure GPTs. We're going to create a cinematic universe for a more sci-fi feel RPG this time. We're not going to use ChatGPT's mentioned feature this time. Instead, we'll just be saving the JSON files and uploading to each GPT as we need it. By the end, we'll have a basic game universe full of interesting encounters and situations that the players can find themselves in. We'll even have a starter adventure built to get the ball rolling and a set of additional NPCs that we can call on. If you don't mind and if you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe to the channel and give us a like. It really helps. To kick things off, I really like the idea of, we know aliens are coming, they'll be here in two years, since the theme has been in the book and streaming space as of late. We'll start with that as the basic concept. I like to start the world creation process by first making a three-part adventure module based on the premise. That's what the IA module generator does. In this case, I prompted the IA engine to create a hive-like alien race that is coming for Earth and is two years out from arriving in mass. I set up a few things like having bugs of different roles and how the player will be involved. The GPT runs on a set of Python instructions that run over multiple prompts. This first phase will generate the first JSON file for us based on our prompt. We can see here that it even gives the module a title, but what we're interested in mainly is the script that it ran, shown here as analysis. This is the Python code that the GPT uses to build the files. We could download the file using the link it gives, but let's continue with the creation first, because we'll go through several iterations of the file, and what we're really after is the end result of all the phases. We can move to the next phase of module creation by simply telling the GPT the command, next or continue here. I'm showing the GPT generating the Python code that it will execute for this phase. Looks like we're adding some NPCs and some locations to the module. They'll be expanded on later. The GPT code uses some helper functions to write and read JSON files. Because ChatGPT's context window is limited, anything we can do to cut down on the size of scripts it needs to write the better. Now we have the second iteration of the module file. During phase three, the engine added some basic encounters and challenges to the module adventures. The file is starting to contain more building blocks now, and we'll start expanding on these pieces to form more coherent connections. The fourth phase sets theme, tone, and adds a little foreshadowing. With phase five, we start to see some subplots and important NPCs get added to the file. By phase six, things are starting to get more interesting. With more details to work with, the engine decided to add some neat items for the player to interact with. It also added some more information about the important locations in the context of the adventure. And importantly, it provided some alternate storylines should the players succeed or fail the specified challenges. The engine adds some vital timelines to the module adventure in Phase 7. These timelines allow the adventure to have a sense of urgency and gives the narrative engine the ability to foresee the impacts to the game's story should the player decide not to complete specific challenges or story requirements. Essentially, the player can fail these games and make their own choices. The final phase simply adds a timestamp and a link to the GPT and wraps up the file for final download. In most cases, it's identical to the seventh iteration, but I find having this step in the GPT instructions has been helpful for showing the thank you message and give links to the other IA GPTs. Finally, let's download and open the module file. And here it is, our generic sci-fi RPG campaign, Invasion of the Hive, with three mini-adventures giving us a cohesive and clear start, middle and end to the campaign. We also have a plethora of NPCs, locations, and items to play with, and the narrative framework for a game master to run these adventures. Let's take it one step further. Now that we have the adventure module, let's create an entire cinematic game universe where the module story takes place. That way we can make more interrelated or unrelated campaigns and stories in the same world. That's what the IAA Universe Creation Engine GPT does. Just like the module creator, this GPT makes a JSON file containing all sorts of useful world-building details about a game or cinematic universe. We could prompt it with just some simple text, but instead it lets use the Invasion of the Hive Adventure Module file as the prompt. This way part of the work is already done for us and it will allow the GPT to create more interconnected stories and concepts. Custom GPTs allow you to upload a file along with your prompt. Depending on the file type, the GPT can read it and use the information to answer your requests. Just like the module creator, the universe generator runs over multiple prompts. 
This allows us to add more fine-grained details while using previously generated content to ensure coherence in the story and world. Like before, the GPT will use custom Python code to generate your world JSON file. It usually starts in phase one with the basics, some history, geography, factions, and the like, but it really depends on the amount of detail you feed in during your initial prompt. We'll quickly move to phase two where we get more, just more. Events, notable figures, and some overview of how science or magic work in this world. Moving to phase three, we'll add more details on the living beings and cultures in the game world. The engine started adding details for both the humans and the alien hive race. By phase four, the engine starts to add more big picture conflicts and details on how the different species are governed and how they operate. Phase five refines the details further and adds a variety of cultural data points that will be useful in world building. Phase six is the cleanup step, and like before, it sums up the universe creation and gives a link to download the file. But here's a tip. I found this technique to be useful when the GPT starts adding overly generic or templated data to the game files. When it tells me the background of a character is the character background that just won't work. To fix it, I use this prompt wording to make the GPT replace generic content with more contextual content that makes sense for the game or universe. Things that actually make the data more useful. I use variations of this prompt all the time when ChatGPT decides it wants to be generic. Let's see what it gives me today. And it's going to add some more history data to the world. I can prod it even further. Each time it's adding data to the file. For some reason though, I need to tell it to execute the scripts now. It seems to be working okay though. Next, I'll have it run another round of updates and make the alien species the focus of the changes. We get some glimpse of the alien homeworld and possible lifestyle outside of what humans have encountered. I want to add even more details about the bug aliens, so I'll make one more iteration of changes focusing on their biology and specialized shapes and roles. And now we'll look at the file to see the end results. Not bad. Lots of room for improvement, but also lots of room for adventures and stories. Before we finish up, I want to make a few more notable characters in the game universe the last GPT I'll show you today is the IA character creator. You can start from scratch with this GPT, or since we already have a universe file and the first adventure module file, we can use those to start the character process. I'll ask it to list 10 characters that make sense in our fictional world. It's great at generating different characters for different roles, giving them simple motivations and backstories that you can play off of. The GPT was supposed to write them to file like the others, but nope. A little push should get it going. And there we have it a third JSON file, this one containing additional NPCs that fit into our game universe. Let's look at the files and see what we have. The story unfolds through key stages. Initial skirmishes with scout aliens forming a global alliance amidst political tensions, and a climactic battle against the alien queen on a space platform. The alien ecology is derived from a harsh planet with extreme conditions dominated by sparse, hardy vegetation and resilient wildlife capable of bioelectrical communication. The alien biology features specialized bugs such as scouts, builders, warriors, and medics, each designed for specific roles ranging from reconnaissance to combat, reflecting their highly adaptive and cooperative societal structure. The player will navigate a complex political landscape, interact with critical NPCs, and use advanced technologies in combat and diplomacy. This campaign offers a rich blend of military strategy, technological exploration, and suspenseful storytelling, challenging players to save Earth from alien domination. It's not perfect, but it gives a good blueprint for running a good narrative adventure. There are a variety of ways these files can be used. In other IA GPTs, or in offline narrative game engines, or as a brainstorm tool when writing your own books, or as a basis for a solo role-playing session, or even in tabletop formats with an actual game master. At this point, I've created well over 30 campaign modules using these GPTs, and I'm satisfied they do the job. I've been enjoying the story frameworks it generates, and I've had a chance to play a few of the adventures with varying results. I hope you enjoyed, and if you want to see more videos like this, let me know. Thanks for watching the Pathfinders Codex.